What's up my friends, 915 Mang here on my way to Tim's house to pick up a AI rail. Um, he offered me this before I even did my tank build, which I should have just went ahead, went over to his house and picked him up. But instead uh, I'm doing it after the fact that my 180 is already set up. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I converted my LED into a T5 hybrid. Um, the LEDs that I'm using are the uh, Reef Breeders Photon version two. Also, I get a lot of questions, what rails am I using to hang my lights? The rails that I'm using are from Aquatic Life. The only place that I've seen them sell them at is uh, Marine Depot. Um, this is what I was talking about when I said I should have just went ahead, went to Tim's house and uh, picked up these uh, rails from the get-go. Instead, uh, I'm doing all this work after the fact. I went to the store and uh, picked up this uh, socket wrenches to get to the back and uh, unscrew it. It was just a pain in the butt. Um, doing it this way took me several hours um, because I had to take a break because it was annoying. Um, I'm glad I had a little bit of room to work with in the back. Uh, it's not like I can move a 180 out of the way. But this is what I did and it took a while, guys. These AI rails work great. Um, the reason why they work great is because they have grooves. They have like that T-slot groove and that's what I'm going to use to hang my uh, T5 reflectors and my T5s on the side. Um, they really are nice rails. A little bit overpriced in my opinion but a uh, pretty nice uh, product here. I got these from uh, Tim. He gave it to me for free. He just hooked me up and what I'm doing is I'm zip stripping the wires. I'm going to hide them so that they don't fall into the tank and then I'm just going to pit my uh, LED on the center and it's just gonna look great um, it worked really good you know if you haven't done this I did another video about this and I went in depth but uh, they're color-coded so you just separate the colors one is uh, red and then the other side is black so pretty self-explanatory now the reason I'm doing a uh, LED and T5 is because I want the best of both worlds you know T5s are great um, but there's a lot of bulbs that you got to change LEDs are great because they get the color pop and they can also grow corals and uh, they, they're they not as expensive. So with this, running a two bulb combination with the LED, uh, I really think it's the best of both worlds. Now when I said that LEDs weren't as expensive as T5s, I kind of misspoke right there. What I meant to say was LEDs will save you in the long run as far as electricity and cost savings, but LEDs will easily cost as much as a house payment and easily as as your car payment so you got to just think about that now these bulbs that i'm actually using on my uh aquatic life retro uh, ballast are uh, ati t5s um but they are the coral plus uh the bulbs are old as they are i do need to go ahead and buy some new ones these are like over a year old but uh you know they're still working uh, just being straight up with you guys, I do need to change them out. Uh, bulb life is usually like they say 9 to 12 months and I'm well over that now. Um, I'm running my T5s from uh, 10 o'clock all the way up to 4 o'clock. And then at 4 o'clock they shut off with a timer. One thing that I've noticed since uh, switching over to the 180 is that my frog spawn is more puffy. Before it was all like retracted just together. Now that everything looks more bubbly and more fat, and which was tripping me out because when I went over to Kevin's house and we did the uh, what, the 120 with no skimmer video, uh, his he got all his frags, most of them from me, and his stuff was looking a lot better. Um, and I think that is just because of the light intensity. Um, it's not really directly over them. Um, my chalices are doing way better. My Miami Hurricane is looking great and you can see it has multiple eyes on there and I just can't wait till it grows out on this uh, rock because it's uh, one of my favorite chalices. I also pit some uh, chalices off on the side and super glued them onto this rock. The reason why is because I had some uh, that sugar fine sand which I'm slowly taking out. I'm taking it out with a when I do my water changes siphoning that stuff out and just throwing it away. But my tank is slowly coming together. I've been super gluing uh, here and there. I super glued these rosses onto this branching tonga. 
And my hope is that these uh, Rasta Zoas will just cover up this whole rock. And that will be sweet. Um, this is what I was talking about when I super glued those uh, frags onto that rock. Um, they were just flipping over. That sugar flying sand would get to them and just start destroying the tissue. But uh, this looks really great at night. I'll probably do a gel video, a gel video later on. And uh, you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about when the colors pop. Um, some super glue. I've been using the uh, Home Depot. Super glue is just cheap stuff, gel. But I'm going to go ahead and order some uh, BSI. I really like the BSI. I think it's the best. But, you know, I just haven't ordered. I went to the store to get some uh, something quick. And um, as you can see, some of those frags have fallen off the live rock. The next thing that I want to say is I've been seeing uh, these videos on Marine Depot. And they have some kind of like plastic putty that you can heat up in water. And then it's after it, it's not even boiling water. It's just like hot, warm water. And after you uh, heat it up, you can mix it up with your hands and use that. Uh, and it's supposed to not kill your skim or anything like that. Um, I know a lot of you people probably are into the putty. Myself, I don't really like that putty because it's like 20 bucks. And it, for me, it really doesn't work. Um, so I, that's what I want to do. I want to get some more BSI glue. And then I want to try that new plastic uh, putty that uh, you can reuse. It seems pretty cool. Um, these are the red people eaters that I picked up from uh, Coral Lust. Uh, that you can see the, all those heads right there looking great. And uh, I can't wait to uh, super glue these to some rock. Um, I, guess, uh, I got a whole bunch of frags all over the place. But uh, I just need to put them away. I'm also rinsing out some sand. I'll do, I'll do a video on that. But uh, I'm gonna once I clear up all this stuff, it's gonna look great. Uh, my little hornets or whatever these things are, I think these are purple hearts, and they're pretty awesome right there. I did do some rearranging of some corals, um, mainly my uh, sticks. The reason why is because I was having a uh, shading. You know how those shady people are. Well, it's the same thing with coral. You hang out with the, you get shaded on, and then you can't grow and you start to lose your color. So what I did is I started cutting up some um, pieces, moving around some stylos and stuff. And uh, I was getting some monopora shading, the upper purple stylo, so I went ahead and uh, cut it up. One thing that I would have wish I would have thought about is the uh, placement of the monopora. When I got the little monoporas, there were tiny little frags. And as you can see, they've grown pretty big and they shade a lot of stuff. Um... I know I was talking to Vish about it. He did, he hates his monopora and all that, but I uh, had to move this one piece right here because one, the purple stylo was burning the tips, as you can see, and two, it was shading it. And when, when your corals get shade, they lose color. So this one piece right here, I picked it up as a little frag and I picked it up from a uh, Cory, otherwise known as 6T7 Mustang and uh, Budman on Reef to Reef. But I picked that one piece up and, from him and it's doing really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and cut the flow off so you can kind of see from the top. But uh, it's going to get its color back um, and it's going to look really great. The other side where it's at is has more color. But I used a whole thing of super glue to uh, mount that piece. And I did it underwater, which was something else. Another thing that I had been wanting to do since I was in the tank already... Um, I try to keep my hands out as much as possible, but lately I've been in there, you know, rearranging things and things like that. But what I wanted to do was cut some GSP because the GSP that I have is uh, really nice. It's wavy. It's metallic. It's awesome. But the GSP stings the heck out of coral. And right next to my Duncan, my Duncan coral wasn't open as much as possible, probably because it was getting stung. And you can see where the GSP was. It was all on that white, big, bright piece of uh, rock right there. Also, my uh, hammer, this piece right here, got fragged because the uh, hammer itself was um, actually shading itself. So this part was looking a little pale. And I got the bone cutters and I snipped off a little branch underneath uh, this huge colony that's that I have right there. Um, that started off from a little tiny frag. 
and then just started sprouting out multiple heads and all that and you can see right there um, that's where one was dying and right next to it I went ahead and got the bone cutters and uh, cut it out also when I was rearranging my rock um, I found out that I still have a peppermint shrimp and I also have plenty of Aptasia for it to eat but the uh, peppermint shrimp has pretty much proved itself worthless uh, it doesn't come out at all it just hides in a hole in a rock and um, I still have a shit ton of uh, Aptasia all over the place now talking about shrimp uh, my harlequin shrimp is being a champ um, I fed it a chocolate chip starfish the uh, last video and it's still eating that sucker um, the starfish that I got was uh, huge um, and I think I'm just going to keep feeding my harlequin. Uh, I haven't seen any of the Astorina starfish around anymore. And uh, that's good. Because uh, I really want these zoas to take off and just grow. Right here, if you remember in the last video, that rock in the background was uh, like a skull. And I had my drill and I was just shaping it more. And making like it more defined to look like a skull in it. And... Uh, I'm going to stick even more zoas on there and I hope the zoas and pallies just uh, take off. In the background, that's my new uh, piece that I got from Coral Lust, Scott and uh, Billy Pipes. So it's doing really good. And then, um, you know, everything else is, is just going to grow and take off. I can't, I can't wait. Another thing that I wanted to show you is the uh, on the rack that I got, I have a huge space right here. And that's causing a lot of shadowing. So my plan is to get my Reef Breeders 50 inch, slide it over and get either the uh, Reef Breeders 16 or the 24 and uh, fit it in there. And, and it fits perfectly and it'll look sweet. I like, I like the light. You know, I told, I was talking to my wife about getting some Radions and, uh, you know, she, she was down. I was going to try to get the Gen 3 Pros. But, uh, you know, $2,000, close to $2,000 is, is a lot of money for some lights. I can use my existing lights and then, you know, just do a little bit of mod and I'll be ready to rock. But anyways, guys, I uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thanks again. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. You guys take care. Have a good one, guys.